Hey guys, and welcome. Today I'll be upgrading my daily driver and video editing system. The current system is built on an Antec 1 case with an Asus motherboard powered by an Intel Core i7-4770, Asus NVIDIA GTX 750Ti, SATA SSD, and 16 gigs of RAM. My cameras are all 1080p and record in H.264, so performance while editing is not really an issue. However, someone gave me a partially trashed Dell XPS, so I thought I'd upgrade to it and see if I can improve my video render times, which really is the only area I wouldn't mind some improvement. So let's get into it, right after I get into a segue to today's sponsor. Create Studio Pro is a video creation software that provides a range of tools and features to create high quality, professional looking videos without the need for extensive technical skills or experience. A key feature of Create Studio Pro is its library of pre built assets, including characters, backgrounds, and props, which can easily be customized and animated to fit the needs of any project. We built this entire video completely in Create Studio Pro and haven't even reached its full potential. If you produce any sort of video content, Create Studio Pro truly is your comprehensive one-stop shop for producing engaging and professional looking videos. I know you'll love it as much as I do. Create Studio Pro is available for both Mac and PC. Get your copy today by clicking the link in the video description. The initial condition of the Dell XPS was not ideal. The side cover was missing, and the power supply had been previously taken apart, and for some reason the fan was removed, and the power button was misaligned, preventing the motherboard from seeing the switch signal. The system was also missing RAM. This entire system was going to be rebuilt using garbage. Yes, garbage. These are all parts that were either salvaged from an electronics recycler or spare parts from inventory in the shop. In order for this system to be turned into an excellent El Cheapo editing rig, I'm installing a used Seasonic 650 watt power supply, 32 gigabytes of G-Scale RAM, and 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD, as well as a gigabyte GTX 1660 graphics card and a one terabyte hard drive for storage. Okay, so the 1660 wasn't trash, but it was given to me by somebody who upgraded, so it didn't cost anything. Oh, and the wireless card is also being upgraded from an Intel 3165 to an 8265. Not because I plan on using Wi-Fi, but I had a bunch of these cards pulled from dead laptops and I figured more Wi-Fi equals more better. First, I removed the dismantled power supply. Not entirely sure if the power supply was faulty or not, but the fact that it was missing screws and the fan meant that I wasn't interested in messing with it. I did diagnostics off camera, which I was able to determine the issue was the power button. Fortunately, the power button was just popped out of position and simply reseating it did the trick. I repasted the CPU and installed the RAM. Before blocking everything in, I upgraded the Wi-Fi card and installed the NVMe SSD. With everything installed, I installed the GPU and installed my replacement power supply. Fortunately, Dell used a standard power supply on this model. The only issue was the lack of power connector to the slim DVD drive, but that can be solved at a later date. The storage hard disk was installed and the cables were tucked in as good as possible. The cables do take up more space on the replacement unit, so things are a little tight. Both systems will be tested with Cinebench, Unigen Superposition Benchmark, GoPro Fusion 360, Adobe Premiere Pro, and of course today's sponsor, Create Studio Pro. While all areas improved on paper, including CPU, RAM, SSD speed, and GPU, the largest hardware improvement was GPU, which didn't yield as good of improvements as it hoped. 
First, I ran the Cinebench R23 benchmark, which is a popular benchmarking tool used to test CPU performance. In this benchmark, we saw a significantly improved score with the Dell XPS scoring 5453 points compared to the previous system score of 4264 points. This indicates that the new CPU, the Intel Core i7-7700, is notably faster than the previous system CPU, the Intel Core i7-4770. Next, I ran Unigen Superposition Benchmark, which is a GPU benchmark that tests the system's graphics card performance. In this benchmark, we saw a moderate improvement in performance, with the Dell XPS scoring 10,017 points, compared to the previous system score of 2,961 points. As suspected, the significantly newer architecture of the GTX 1660 with its 6GB of VRAM puts the GTX 750 Ti 2GB card right in its place. Now onto Adobe Premiere Pro, which has been used to edit these videos up until this point. Side note, yes, I'm aware this is an old version. Every time you install new versions of something, you risk functionality changes or even compatibility issues. I know, I know, not good practice, but when I'm editing, I don't care about new features. I just want to get things done and I don't want to learn about new features. I don't want to troubleshoot and I don't want to deal with bugs or compatibility issues. Thus, the XPS needed the same version for testing. And yes, so long as you save the original installer file, Adobe lets you install older versions. Anyway, the render on the original system was 3 minutes and 32 seconds, while the new XPS did it in 3 minutes even. This was the 5 minute Christmas special video. While a 32 second improvement is nothing to sneeze at on a 5 minute video, I was really hoping for a dramatic improvement since the hardware was significantly newer. This specific video did not benefit from GPU accelerated rendering very much, and didn't utilize the extra RAM either, leaving it relying on a three generation CPU jump alone, which isn't terribly substantial. I was expecting to see a greater performance gap in Create Studio Pro. I took the 11 second intro we made and rendered it on both PCs. I noticed that the GPU usage on the GTX 750 Ti was much higher than on the GTX 1660, indicating that the 1660 is more efficient. Despite this, the old PC rendered the clip in 1 minute and 2 seconds, whereas the new XPS rendered the same clip in 1 minute even. Playing around with Create Studio Pro on the old PC a fair bit, it does seem to rely on GPU much more than Premiere does. Unfortunately, having a better GPU didn't seem to narrow the rendering performance gap very much. It should be noted, too, that the previews within Create Studio Pro Workspace rely pretty heavily on GPU, so I do suspect the XPS will see some benefits in editing workflow itself. Lastly, I tested GoPro Fusion 360 Stitched VR Video. Stitching 360 video is both CPU and GPU intense, and while it's not something I do very often, it can take an incredible amount of time to complete for longer clips, so having an improvement here is very important to me. I used a random one minute clip that was rendered into 4K H.264 360 degree spherical video with 360 spatial audio. The original PC was able to render this in 9 minutes 32 seconds, which is incredibly underwhelming considering the actual footage is only one minute long. Impressively, to my surprise, the new XPS was able to render the same clip at the same settings in only 3 minutes and 9 seconds. While the old PC was hitting near 100% utilization, the new PC was pinned solid at 100%, indicating that the old PC had some sort of bottleneck. Given the 750Ti hovered around 80% utilization, I suspect this may have been it, as the 1660 held around only 30%. Despite the marginal improvements in video editing performance, the upgrading system is still a significant overall improvement over the previous system. With a faster CPU, more RAM, better graphics card, it is now more efficient at handling more demanding tasks such as virtual machines, 360 degree video encoding, and even some gaming. In addition, the system now has an NVMe SSD instead of a SATA one, which should improve overall system performance. In conclusion, while the upgraded Dell XPS did not achieve the expected improvements in video editing performance, it is still a significant improvement over the previous system and I'm going to migrate over to it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the video or what you think about the new editing style done with Create Studio Pro. I always enjoy reading your comments. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified about future videos. Until next time.